What's happening Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. If you're looking to charge your car, you might want to check out SeaTech. All right, so if you watch the channel, you know that I plug my Maserati into a SeaTech charger because SeaTech actually makes the charger for Maserati. It gets branded, you know, for Maserati, Porsche, I think a bunch of other cars, uh, but SeaTech is actually the manufacturer of it. So you can actually save yourself some money by going and just buying the SeaTech brand. Now, the charger that comes with my other Maserati is apparently this model. It's called the 4.3. And it's a little bit different than the other one that I have from my other Maserati, the 3300. So I wanted to pick up this version, which is the unit that it's based on and just see what differences there are and maybe what the functionality is. So it does come with this little nylon drawstring bag and we get a bunch of stuff here. That's all the stuff you'd expect, including the charger. So we get the alligator clips these would clip right onto your battery terminals. These would be meant to be removed, like you would have your hood up or wherever the battery is. These clipped onto the battery and just take them off. I use something like this on my Prowler, inline fuse right there. And then what we have is their quick disconnect right here. So looks like the disconnect to the battery charger will clip right onto here. So you can see there's a little tab right there and they clip on and then you can just disconnect them like that if you want to. These generally will stay on here in this configuration because you're going to unclip them from here. But this becomes important on the other side. We also have, and this is the one that I am going to use because uh, on my Maserati it's made all the difference, is the permanent connectors. You can see the two little ring connectors there and you would attach these usually to the tightening bolts on the clamps on your terminals. So you put these under the washers, uh, tighten it down, and this would stay attached to your car permanently. Now, what you have is the quick disconnect here. So now I can take my charger, clip it in, which is what I do. Uh, the charger always stays connected to the wall. And then when I'm ready to roll, I disconnect it, close up the trunk. In this case, that's where it is. And that's actually really nice. When the battery's in the trunk, then you just have this little pigtail hanging out in your trunk, as opposed to out, honestly, under the hood is actually worse. But you do get this little rubber cap so you can fill this sucker in like that. So under the hood where you're going to be you know, um, exposed to grime and dirt and uh, water or whatever, you can plug that up to make sure that it doesn't get messed up. But here is the battery charger itself. And I will say that as far as I can tell, it seems to be exactly the same case that my other charger is. But uh, right up here is where we see the big difference. So first of all, you do have your cord, two prong cord on the one side, and then you do have fairly long cable with that disconnector on this end. And we also have a couple of rubber feet down here. You can see it's kind of this whole gold toned color. And then right on the front, we have a couple of things, a mode button right there. Looks like we have an air light um, and then a power light right there. And then you have a couple icons here for the um, smaller voltage motorcycle battery, car. Uh, I think this might be like uh, cold weather, high amperage needs, and then reconditioning light right there. And then up here is where it's most interesting. Uh, this little graph, this little icon right there. And I won't get into all of the description here, but basically it's kind of the phase of charging. So one of these will be lit up. So for me, it'll be like the car. And then these are kind of the phases here. Desulfation, soft start bulk, absorption, analyze, reconditioning, float, and pulse. And so what I think what you're gonna do is, especially when you're, you've got lower voltage, as it's kind of bringing up a battery from a dead state or something like that, you'll see these down here being used. And then um, the recondition and the float, I think is really where, and the pulse is really where it's kind of maintaining the, you know, 12, 13 volts or whatever your battery is putting out. So if you see these lights lit up down here, basically I think you're kind of going through a buildup phase. And that's really what I think C-Tech is supposed to be known for is like their AI in their battery chargers, that it's supposed to be kind of a smart charger. It's supposed to be really taking into account the voltage and the, the loads and all that. And so it's supposed to be uh, better at protecting and maintaining batteries than other chargers. Again, I can't tell you exactly how, valid that claim is, 
But as far as I can tell, the fact that they are being used as OEM equipment by a lot of automakers, that a lot of people choose these, uh, the price point is also a little higher than some other battery tenders, um, that I think it lives up to that. I have had zero problems with my 3300 C-Tech. It's always been fantastic. Even when I've accidentally let a battery discharge, I've just hooked it up and it's brought that battery back to life. Uh, but I would also say that, you know, some of my other chargers too, my Black & Decker, I've never had a problem with that. That's the one that's been connected to my Prowler. But I'm going to trust this one because like I said, this is it is exactly the same thing that would come with my uh, Ghibli. All right, battery mounted in the back here, and I've got those uh, pigtails attached, and I've got the charger hooked up and plugged in. And as you can see here, we are charging, and it's on that car mode. And it's going to be a little hard to see here with the flash, but you can see those early lights are turned on, so it's kind of going through that phase, that process of conditioning and recycling and charging up the battery. So seems to be working. It's really nice knowing that you're going to always have power on your car, especially if you don't drive it very often when you need to fire it up. So, hey, if you want to pick up this SeaTac 4.3, I will put a link to it in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out.